we're back. We've got a couple great smokes provided by Dr. Uh, Miller. Yeah, Doc, I went over and saw my friend at Boutique Cigars. Okay. He said, yeah, I'm sure you guys can have some cigars. Let's make us famous. Right. So, yes, yeah, there we go. Exactly. So Boutique Cigars, where are they located? Uh, they're an online website. So if okay. you look at boutique slash or underscore cigars.com, uh, they're a great place to pick up cigars. And they come right. out to a lot of beer festivals and do a lot of beer. Very cool. Awesome, awesome. So, okay, so I know when I do a, a, a beer and food pairing, right. I always want to take a sip of the beer, get an idea for the flavor profile there, take a bite of the food, get an idea of that right. flavor profile, then take another sip of the beer and get an idea how the food changes the flavor of the beer and the beer changes the flavor of the food. Right. So how do you do that with cigars? That's exactly the same way you do with cigars. Okay. You can start either with a, a puff of the cigar or a sip and then repeat. And what you're doing is getting the different nuances. So for example, this is Davidoff mm -hmm. number two. Uh, very light smoke, but still has a lot of complexity. Right. It's going really well with the uh, Nepo sandwich. It actually shows off the malt, subdues okay. the hops, and then when I take a, a taste of the beer and then go into here, it brings out this light peppery spiciness. Oh, cool. That's really nice. So it definitely works. I've been doing recently, I've been doing beer, food, and cigars and triangulating wow. them. So it makes it very interesting. So it's wow. really fun. Yeah, I bet. I haven't, I haven't got up anywhere close to that level. I'm just working on this one right now. So let me uh, go in and give, yeah, this give a it a shot. See so, what you think. so what is what is this cigar now? Uh, that's La Roma uh, de Co Cobana, and okay. it's the uh, Mia Moore Reserva. The Bellicoso okay. of the series won 2011 number two cigar of the year from Cigar Aficionado. Nice, nice. So a uh, very interesting cigar. Um, almost a Maduro wrapper, but. Mm -hmm. uh, Medium to full body, but it's going to play really well off the tartness of that. Nice. Beer. Let's, let's go in and give this a shot. It does have a nice full flavor. It's got a little bit of spice to it. It's not really overpowering. It's not really super leathery right. or anything like that. It's 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 it actually smokes a little light lighter than I would have anticipated. Yeah, that's why I selected it because it's got that darker wrapper. So you don't have to be scared necessarily by the wrapper. The wrapper makes up one third of the cigar along with the filler and binder. So it's all about the flavor profile and the best thing to do with cigars, go online, look them up, they'll have reviews and they'll tell you the flavor profiles. Then you can, if you already know your beer or wine or spirits, you can jump in with what you think will go best. Nice, awesome, so let's taste this out. And this is the 78th, um, 79th, excuse me, anniversary that's been aged in white wine, or aged in wine barrels. You know, it's got a nice malty flavor that kind of blends really nice with the smokiness. It kind of makes it kind of a little smoke beer, but, and then the, it does, it mellows right. out kind of the tart flavor to right. it, but the tartness kind of cleans the palate again. It cleans the palate, you got a little winter fruit in there, mm -hmm. so it really cleans it, and then you're ready for that next smoke, mm -hmm. and then it's gonna, I think it's gonna bring out a little more, almost a little chocolateiness in the cigar. It does. So it's gonna play really well. It does, it's, it's, it's interesting because when you take a puff, and then you take a sip of the beer, you pay attention to how the beer changes that tobacco flavor. Right. But then when you go back and take another puff of the smoke, you get something else right. entirely from the cigar. Yeah, that's and really and cool. it will continually change as the cigar intensifies as it goes down. So wow. that's what the fun part is. So what kind of flavor profiles are you getting um, off your Davidoff? So this one I'm getting a nice creaminess. Okay. I'm getting a uh, little floral notes, almost a little grassiness, some hay, but okay. it's, it's really accentuating. Uh, and like I said, it hits the malts, and then when you come back with this, it really brings out that hops, the Simcoe hop uh, nuances. So it's really nice. Really nice. Yeah. Awesome. So, what are, what would you think are like the three best basic cigar and beer pairing rules that you would look at? Okay. Um, you know, there was an old myth that white wine with fish, right. red wine with meat. That doesn't necessarily hold true because you can have a great Pinot mm -hmm. Noir with a salmon. So, but it really kind of is a fairer exchange with cigars okay. and beers. So if you go with a lighter wrapper, and if you know it's a milder cigar, it's gonna play really well with uh, beers that have complexity, but yet are lighter. Uh, mm -hmm. Hefeweizen, okay. IPAs, Saisons, mm -hmm. and they're gonna go in that. If you get beer uh, cigars that have spiciness or pepperiness, they're gonna play into those nuances, especially when you get into Belgians. Right. So when you smoke, right. Uh, a nice cigar like this and have an Orval, like mm -hmm. for example, would be great. Or a DuPont Saison. Right. And then as you get into that medium range, you can start to pick up things through uh, ports, amber ales, um, go into that. Irish uh, reds. Yeah, amazing. Irish reds. Um, porters, I meant to say. Oh, okay. Ports, I'm sorry. So porters, different things like that, brown ales. Uh, right. Doppelbox. They're going to play nice. nicely with the sweetness. And then as you get into the more full body, the intenser smokes, mm -hmm. that's where you want to break out the big guns. You want to bring out barley wines, imperial stouts, 
uh, we have these winter warmers, classically, right. and those things are going to play really well and hold up to the intensity of the cigar. Right. So it's really following those colors and, like I said, the reviews you find online for beer. So it really brings out what you know. And if you're a beer drinker, you're going to already know how those uh, beers will play into that. I hear you. Very cool. Thank you so much of for course. this master class of beer and cigar pairing with Dr. Bill. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, guys. Cool. Good. Hey guys, so I'm still enjoying this fantastic cigar that Dr. Bill recommended to me. And because it is a Maduro wrapper, I wanted to go and explore a little bit of the darker beers. The beer that I had before was the 79th uh, on white on uh, wine barrels. So what I got right now is, we're gonna go a little lighter, darker. I got a uh, Bootleggers um, Blackstrap Porter. So this is a porter that's made with Blackstrap molasses. So. I really think this is going to really pull out some of the robust, some of the darky, smoky flavors of the, of, of the of the stogie. So, let's see how it goes. This does have that nice creaminess and that mouthfeel. You get a little bit of that dark sweetness that the, the bootstrap molasses is going to impart. It's a nice light drink. It's not light, but it's a solidly drinkable porter. Let's see how it pairs with the cigar. I'm getting up, I'm picking up more chocolate notes out of the cigar because of the beer. This does pair really nice. Now this is the um, La Roma de Cuba. This is a really pretty, even though it's a Maduro wrapper, it's a pretty light smoker. And so I think with a porter, it goes really, really nice. But let's go big. I also have I also have, this is Imperial Black Phoenix. So this is Black Phoenix uh, bumped up a notch and I believe, yes, it's Asian bourbon barrels. So this is bourbon barrel aged Black Phoenix, Imperial Black Phoenix. So we're gonna go about as robust as we can on this and see what this cigar can take. So let's taste the beer. This beer is really nice, you're getting that Oatmeal cookie, really vanillin-y flavor from the from from the bourbon barrels, but it doesn't taste specifically like bourbon. It's just adding this nice sweet baked cookie kind of uh, flavor to it. Really nice. Let's see what the cigar does. To that now we're into the we're kind of into the second third of the cigar and it. And so the cigar is getting a bit more robust, but this this beer knocks the edges off of it and just plays really, really nice. There's tons of chocolate coming out in this. This is just a really great beer and cigar pairing. The Imperial Black Phoenix and the La Roma de Cuba Maduro. Definitely check it out if you can. Cheers, guys.